Hey friends, let's go ahead and get our kids interested in reading, maybe reading their Bible each day or even reading their books at school. And sometimes if you just have the right bookmark, it makes all the difference. And we can let the kids make their own. And this would be a fun way for us to engage them even on with nature because we're going to add to it some nature items. So the first thing you want to do is to have the two by seven strips of cardstock because when you paint them, you don't want it rolling up on everything. So have the thicker paper. Do the watercolor where it covers everything and doesn't leave any white left behind. And then while they're drying, go ahead and go on your nature walk and find some things in nature that you want to glue on there. Now, if it's a, a rainy day or something, you're not gonna be able to go outside, you could use some silk flower type of things, which would be just fine. But if you wanna opt out for writing on it with a, like a permanent marker, you could do that too. And you could write uh, a Bible verse and where the reference is, and that way they would be able to have that. So glue those items on or write the Bible verse. And then you're gonna to want to uh, laminate it. Now, not everyone has laminators and honestly, contact paper works super in a situation like this. So I'm gonna just cut out some of this contact paper. You can see, I have it folded up here. So I'm just gonna cut it on the crease. I think that'll be just fine. And then open it up. I think probably the hardest part sometimes with contact paper is just getting this oh, separated. So let me work at that for a minute or maybe less, I hope, anytime, please come on. Uh-huh, oh, let's try another corner and see how that goes. Maybe it'll go better, maybe it won't. Getting it separated is the worst part, or did I mention that already? I may have to fast forward to the good stuff. Oh, here it comes, I'm gonna get it. Good, turn it upside down, sticky side up. And then I'm gonna just lay it right here in the middle and fold it over where it will touch all sides. Make sure it smooths out, get all those air bubbles out. All right, over again, good, very good. All right, so it's completely covered. I can trim the edges of the bookmark on both ends and then use the hole punch to actually put some holes so that we can thread our ribbon through it. So let me get that for you. All right. Oops, I didn't go all the way through. Still didn't. Okay. And then what we're going to do at the end is let the kids thread through some ribbon that they have or some twine, whatever. And you'll see it looks pretty much like this with the twine. Now I have this blue ribbon and I think that that would look really good too. So we can actually use it too and let the kids just fold that through each one. You can go in and out this way, or you could loop it around. That would be fun too, like sewing it. would be a good idea. So you get the idea to add the decoration along the edge. This might be a fun way to help kids get in their books or in their Bibles by making a fun bookmark, especially if you get to go in nature. That's the best part.